Hey everybody, today we're going to play Ike's Discard Brand. He was a top 16 contestant in Challenger. He was one of the few who brought a brand deck into the tournament, and I wanted to showcase his deck. Reaching uh, top 16 is no easy feat, especially when there's so many people playing. So we're going to go into a uh, ranked match with this. Don't run escapes. Got we'll it. Bring Priestess of Freya out of my deck, and I can play this again. Kill, maim, destroy. Think, did I? I lose. Why? What's going on right now? Your revive cards that way, and it's hilarious. Now, I will wanted to bring this into ranked, but I just lost two games in a row. Due to the server being inconsistent with my client and I'm like I don't want to show you guys me losing mid-game and I don't want to lose any more rank points due to server malfunctions it was really disheartening to lose like a hundred points just due to the server not like agreeing with me no naivety is a fool's blessing this is, this is oh, it's nice to see a Gales player <laughs> Of course. So against Gales, you just want to like let them have their like their one round that they're going to win. Once you decided, oh, they're going to uh, play out this round to win, uh, that's when you kind of let it happen. So we're gonna push out the Priestess of Freya. I'm gonna push out the Clan Tour Sock Axeman, and I'm gonna leave it here just in case I get a Clan Dooman Pirate. So I'm gonna pass there. Okay. So we're going to start off with Clan Doom and Pirate. Then we're going to King Bran. Then we'll Ermian. Then we'll. And Ermian will discard Mark Bark, I guess. I know it's like sacrificing two strength, but it's a higher tempo play, in my opinion. Oh, that's cute. We can actually destroy those eggs with the uh, Archer. You want to pass, you got to pay. Can't let you through elseways. We get um yeah, and we also have options with Manticore Venom here. Okay, we're gonna play now the Archer just because we want to get rid of these eggs as soon as possible. Give my opponent a really happy day. Morhog. It's probably the bane of his ex existence. Wrong. Another mistake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Well, we got a high value out of this, but we don't need to do it right now. We're now going to discard some stuff <laughs> of course, from our deck. We're going to get rid of this, this, and we don't want to get rid of the, any of the revive cards. We'll get rid of the armor. Warren just stands in here. This will thin our deck of things and give us a little bit more options. Okay. Well, uh, a perfect thing to do here is this. Get rid of that stuff. Yeah. Yawn. Okay, let's keep pushing. Let's keep him forcing him to push wish. force his advantage. Okay. Well, we're going to get rid of you and Morkbark. Your stench. Maybe I should have used the uh, Wild Boar of the Sea first. He has, uh, uh, he has that stuff in his deck, so that's cute. Billion barrels are burning. The more bitch. cards we force him to play, the better. In this scenario, we know that he's going to win this round, but he can't use his leader ability as effectively if we keep pushing it. And at this point, it's probably best just pass. Um, it might be better to pass at this point. Because we kind of know what he, my opponent's going to do next round. So we're going to pass. We have card advantage. He's probably not going to play anything on the next round. Uh, he'll have 13 points, I believe. Which is uh, fairly strong, but we can deal with it. 
We might have uh, played Wild Boar of the Sea as an option as well. But I kind of wanted to save Wild Boar of the Sea for whatever he decides to play last. Okay. We're going to put, start off with... We'll probably start off with Ulderic on the last round. Uh, we're going to start this round with King of Beggars. Because it's a super powerful swing card. Interesting. Well, we don't want to play too many things on the melee row anyways. How does this card work? Well, we definitely want to get rid of it. So I'm going to start off with Wild Lord of the Sea. I was actually going to do this differently. So we're going to do that, then that, then there. I'll get rid of that card just in case he just tries to proc it somehow. If only he kills that, then he's, okay, he's locked it. There's not much I can do about the locking, so I don't really mind that too much. So we're gonna now play King of Beggars. So, how are things? Gonna pull a Priestess of Freya, which we'll then use to pull a, what do we wanna pull? Pull this. Out we'll of the King of Come Beggars. On. Quick now. There isn't anything in my graveyard I want to lose, so I'm not upset. He should be using that uh, a different hey, time. Barrels are burning pitch. We're already going to win this round, so we don't mind pushing this as far as we can. He really doesn't have too many Led bad pulls. Okay, what did he play? He used his leader ability, which is not bad for us. We're going to start That's pulling things from his graveyard. Okay. Depending on his last card. Well, there's still a risk that he has more than nine points in his last card. So I kind of have to... Do I have to play anything else? Ugh, this is a hard choice. I'm going to risk it and assume he doesn't have nine points. And it was a good choice. I took a risk to maximize my chances of victory in the last round. I'm going to start off by pulling a King of Beggars. Because I still have a Priestess of Prey in my deck. Okay? And I buffed up my King of Beggars a lot. What do you need? So let's get our King of Beggars, a nine strength King the of Beggars onto the board. Don't interest me. Then we're going to pull Bow a Priestess before of Freya. Freya. And I think I'll go with the Clan Tursok Axeman. Billion barrels of burning pitch. And I will distribute my buff. Oh, I win. Yay! <laughs> oh, that was great. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, well, I have way too many Priestess of Freya in my hand. Uh, I hope I don't get a Clan. Or sock action. Uh, I want that in my hand. Uh, I do not need this. Okay. We're going to start off with the Clan Doom and Pirate and we'll move into King Bran. And then we'll do. Um, Ermium. Okay? That way we thin our deck as much as possible. We do not care that we have those two things. I wanted to get the Priestess of Freya out of my hand. Because they're not really a round one play kind of card. So against Hensel, we have to get rid of like their margaritas with Wild War of the Sea and stuff like that. We do not mind the... Give us all you got! We're probably going to play Coral into the Siege Row. That's going to end up happening. Uh, I suppose. 
And, the end. and then we're going to, if he plays anything else into the sea throw, we'll kill it. With um, Wild Boar of the Sea. We have to change our game plan due to the fact that he's probably trying to uh, build a... There'll be nothing to pick up when I'm done with you. So seven strength. Man. We're gonna start off with this. By Hendo's axe! That. Boom. So, how are things? Okay. Uh, we'll do that. Keep my opponent fighting for the board. It's great. The semblance of power don't interest me. He doesn't get to really choose where it goes. Okay, and now we play Wild Boy of the Sea. We want to hit you. And we're going to hit you. And we're going to hit you. Our opponent has forfeited. And I don't think he needed to. But he did, and we would have uh, played the rest of the round discarding stuff while he tried hopelessly to get back to tempo. 